All right, this is my MSI GS75, and I'm getting ready to put some cool memory. Is my light on my camera? Good yeah. Lord. And Alex is gonna help me keep up with what we're supposed to be doing. So I take out, what, is there like 15 screws? Hmm? What do you mean? You're supposed to be helping me. Is that the wrong screwdriver? <laughs> All right, we're gonna take notes. You don't think I unscrewed it? No. I've got my lock picking tool kit here. <laughs> it looks like it's loose. It's not, it's not coming out any. It's just hung up. Now how many is that? 14. Is that a okay. okay, let's find the one we're missing. Why am I gonna get a copyright strike? If they hear the music from the video. Huh? If they hear the music from the video. Well, boy, turn it down. I'm over here doing surgery on the fan. <laughs> I don't think that's a hair. I think that's a remnant of manufacturing. Or maybe it's my fan blade shredding up. Those screws. Alex had a good idea. He's got the time stamp and we're taping the screws to the tape. And those were this screw, that one, this one, that one, and that one, that one, that one, and that one. What's next? She, what we're noticing is about her video, she's way zoomed down and everything looks really big, but this stuff is actually really tiny. <laughs> yeah, so we already did that. We did this one. We did this one. Back in the old days, these these are about like tape. And back in the old days, they were actual, had little pins on them. Is that the last one we have to get off? Mm-mm. What, what does she do after that? Because I'm thinking about just laying this motherboard I'm, I'm thinking about just laying it over if it it's this thing she pulls it out one of them has a that thing yeah this one okay i don't know if i'm supposed to hold on so this is not for the faint of heart okay hold that back for me for a second alex <laughs> look at those little clips look how tiny mm. this is the end of a pointy pointiest pointy tweezers you can get to and look how small that is. And look at that connection. How am I supposed to get that back on there, man? Mm -hmm. It's crazy. I de-staticized my... De-staticized? De to make a video. So Alex, pop the other side and I'll pop this side. Came out. Those were two eight gigabyte. I hope my two sixteens are gonna work. And this is the, what is it? Crucial? Mm -hmm. It's crucial that you get it back in there cr properly. Yeah. I don't think that is the proper way. There's it's, a little, the yeah. little thing lines up. Yeah. I mean, it should just snap back in. Push it in. Push it in, and then there you go. Yeah. Why is... Oh, this one. The sticker was on the opposite side. Mm -hmm. Right, because I feel those little... Yeah. I think it'll work. I hope so. I don't want to have to take this part again. I'm just gonna make sure it's seated. I'm gonna like, sandwich them together. <laughs> so put it all back together. Yes, sir. I actually left this little, we couldn't get that one out. So we just laid this, we just left it in there. That one, we couldn't, I didn't want to force it either. Yeah. One thing I've learned about guns and computers, don't force anything. Yeah. Uh, now, a real carpenter that works on computers has one of these. OK. 
Okay, it's a little vacuum cleaner for computers. Sounds like a jet engine starting up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it needs to be charged up. See all that crud though, Alex? Yeah. Yeah, it needs to be charged up. It does that wavy, wavy mess. This is from taking it on construction sites. Wait, is that white? Is that dust right there? That is dust, man. Isn't it? I'm gonna count. I'm gonna get this all cleaned up. I've already determined that she's done her several times because our, ours came off a lot harder. It was a lot harder to get them. Yeah. And this thing, this causes a little trouble right here. Yeah, she puts that back on. This? Yeah. She okay. just did it. I'm telling you right now, the hardest part are these two little connectors right here. Okay, I'm going to compare that to my thumb. <laughs> See how small these tweezers are on the end? These are normal tweezers. Okay. Somehow you have to hold that and get it lined up over the little hole. I'm not crazy yet. All right, Alex, you think it's gonna work? I really hope so. <laughs> Oops. All right, so I had to take it into the office and plug it in because it wasn't starting up. It really gave me a heart attack. Because I actually took the back back off when we checked all the screw or all the connections. But then I realized, hmm, I wonder if you have to plug it in the first time after you've replugged the battery back in. So that worked. So um, let's go down here, Alex. <laughs> so we're doing good so far. Let's go to the control panel and go up to system. I remember back in the old days, you'd have to like flush the BIOS and all kinds of crap. This is, uh, yeah, 32 gigs, baby. Nice. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Now, some people are going to say, well, you didn't need that. Well, yeah, I'm working on some animation projects for, for this one company, Metal Building, Metal Pro Buildings, and I'm running into performance issues with only 16. I think I am. But I'm gonna I'm gonna reference that video because that's uh, that's obviously a better video than this one. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. <Yep. laughs> I will have to say the uh, lock picking uh, toolbox came in handy, don't you think, Alex? Oh, yeah. Those little tiny, those little pointy uh, tweezers. Now we had to use these tweezers at one point because we couldn't hold a cable. I wish we'd shown that. Those, remember those little tiny, in the video, I showed these little tiny connectors and you gotta hold them just right, at the right angle to get them to snap in. Uh, so you really need a regular pair of tweezers that have a, a wider blade on them and the, with those little pointy tweezers come in handy for getting the screws out and stuff. So I guess you're gonna need a super computer Okay. <laughs> That's one frame, two frames, <laughs> three frames. So I guess that, I mean, I've got it. What is this? Last generation I7, good lord. I mean, it's dirty because I'll take it out to construction sites, but uh, this is, I thought it would be. I don't know, what was I thinking? So I'm just gonna, what I've been doing up until this point to avoid this is I've been running the animation. I'm gonna interrupt it because I don't have all day to run 40. This was, it was gonna take an hour and 20 minutes to do 44 seconds. Your request, do you want to generate the video files? No. So, if I, what I do is I, I, I get this thing to the right place and then I can, I'll just record my screen 
with the uh, you know OBS and it'll look like that or I'll, it'll, it'll look like this when I record it and I'll crop it in the video to look like that. And I mean, it's a little, it's not as smooth as I want it to be, but you know, it may have to do. I can't buy a $15,000 computer to do an animation. I mean, I guess I could if I was gonna do it all the time, but anyway, that's why I was trying to upgrade my memory. I'm sure I'll find a use for it. 